Welcome to the Accu Web Hosting Video Tutorial. Today, we will guide you on how to generate a .pfx file using Microsoft Management Console. If you want a PDF file of this video tutorial, you can download it from our Telegram channel, Accu Web Hosting. We have mentioned our Telegram channel link in the description. Kindly click on the link and find the PDF file of this video tutorial. Before we begin, take a look at AccuWebHosting.com to review various hosting services offered by us. You can contact us through chat, phone, or send us an email at sales at AccuWebHosting.com. Let's begin the tutorial. Digital certificates play a crucial role in securing online communications and transactions. Sometimes, you may find yourself needing to convert a CER certificate to PFX format, even when you don't have access to the private key. The process is straightforward. You can convert a CER certificate into a PFX format without the private key using three simple steps. However, this procedure necessitates the use of the machine where you originally generated the CSR, Certificate Signing Request. This is because the private key was generated during the CSR creation process. Step 1 is to import the certificate chain into their respective stores. Step 2 is to access the certificate snap-in within the Windows MMC console. Step 3 is to export the certificate as a .pfx file from the MMC console. First let's see the prerequisites. 1. Administrator access. You need to have administrator access privileges on the server. Administrator access ensures that you have the necessary permissions to access and manipulate certificates, a crucial aspect of the conversion process. 2. CSR Ensure that the CSR, Certificate Signing Request, certificate was originally generated on the same server from which you plan to create the PFX file. 3. Existing SSL certificate. The server should already possess an SSL certificate in CER format. By ensuring these prerequisites are met, you are well prepared to undertake the task of converting a CER certificate to PFX format. Let's start the process by performing step 1 import the certificate chain into their respective stores. To begin, you'll need to import your certificate chain into their respective storage locations. This ensures that your certificates are in the right place for Windows to work with them seamlessly. Here are the all steps that we will perform in step 1. Log into the server using remote desktop connection with administrative privileges. Ensure that you're logged in as an administrator user. Locate and right-click on the certificate file that you wish to import. This file should be the CR certificate you want to convert. Select Install Certificate from the context menu that appears when you right-click on the certificate file. A wizard will open. Choose the Local Computer Radio button to specify that you want to install the certificate for the entire computer rather than just the current user. Click on the Next button to proceed further. Select the default automatic store for importing the certificate. This ensures that the certificate is placed in the appropriate location for system-wide use. Click on the Next button to proceed further. Finally, click the Finish button to initiate the import process. 
wait for a moment, and keep an eye out for a successful message indicating that the certificate has been successfully imported. Congratulations! You have successfully imported the certificate to its personal certificate store. Now, let's perform the step to access the certificate snap-in within the Windows MMC console. Here are the step that we will perform in the step 2. Begin by opening the Run Utility. You can do this swiftly by pressing Win plus R on your keyboard. In the Run dialog box that appears, type MMC and then press OK to launch the Microsoft Management Console. Within the MMC interface, navigate to the menu bar and click on File, followed by Add Remove Snap-in. A window will pop up. From the list of available snap-ins, locate and select Certificates and then press the Add button. Now, you will be prompted to choose the specific snap-in you want to create the certificate for. For our demonstration, let's select Computer Account. Click Next to proceed. Ensure that you select Local Computer since the CSR Certificate Signing Request was generated on the same computer. After making this selection, click Finish. You will now see the Certificate, Local Computer, option. Confirm your selection and click OK to finalize it. As a result, you should be able to view the certificate within the personal store of the MMC interface. Congratulations! You have successfully accessed the certificate snap-in within the Windows MMC console. Let's perform the last step 3, export the certificate as a .pfx file from the MMC console. Below are the steps that we will perform in the step 3. Begin by right-clicking on the certificate you intend to export. From the context menu, navigate to All Tasks and choose Export. The Certificate Export Wizard will open to guide you through the process. Advance to the next stage by clicking the Next button within the Certificate Export Wizard. In the Certificate Export Wizard, opt for Yes, export the private key by selecting the corresponding radio button. Proceed by clicking the Next button. Choose the PFX radio button to specify PFX format for exporting the certificate. Depending on your needs, select the appropriate export option from the presented choices. Move to the next stage by clicking Next. Optionally, set specific permissions for certificate management by selecting the group or username. Choose and enter a password to encrypt the certificate for enhanced security. Ensure it's a strong and secure password. Confirm your security preferences before proceeding. Please note, the encryption method used for the password has to be triple DES. Also, the password should not contain the symbol AND. Move to the next stage by clicking NEXT. Specify the location where you want to save the PFX certificate. 
Use the Browse button to navigate to your chosen directory. Continue by clicking the Next button. To complete the export process, click Finish. Your PFX certificate will be saved at the designated location. Let's see the, the PFX file that was generated by the Microsoft Management Console. Open the File Manager and go to the path where you specify the PFX file location. As we were selected the document folder, here you can see that the example.pfx file has been generated by the system. Congratulations! You have successfully generated a.pfx file using Microsoft Management Console. Let's quickly sum up the context of this video. We saw how to generate a .pfx file using Microsoft Management Console. Hope! This video will be helpful for you. If you like our technical videos, please press the subscribe button and bell icon to receive instant notification of our new videos. Each like is important to us, so do not forget to symbol us. To download a PDF file of this video, Please subscribe to our Telegram channel AQWeb Hosting where you will have access to the PDF files of all our videos. Thank you for watching.